Welcome to the fourth place in Revit Architecture. In this class, we shall see how to create nodes. Let us go to Architecture tab, Build Panel, Node. Let us go to Architecture Flow. So select any flow you want, which are readily available here. So select any of them. So I am selecting flow generate 300 ml. Now, here you can see in Draw Panel, lot of shapes. So you can draw any shape you want as a flow you can select any shape you can draw it and create a flow if not as we have drawn a particular flat let us select pick wall here that refers wherever the wall is there that will pick it up so i am selecting the walls except washrooms except washrooms i select so i am selecting all the walls in order to you know and you can see this and whenever you see the pink line, that should be in a closed loop. There should not be any intersections or any gaps. So let us try to clear. If not, if not any intersections are there, it will show error. So if you try to finish it, finish, so it will show the error. Lines cannot intersect each other. The highlighted lines currently intersect. So we have to clear that. So let us do. For that, let us go to modify tab. In that, you can say trim or extend. So I select now uh, the walls I want walls I want so I want this wall and this wall this additional part should be deleted so we have to just select the walls we want this and this yes here also I need this and this this part is deleted and now again I want this and this this additional part should be deleted select those two right here also this part should be deleted and I want this line and this line. This, this. So here also in the same manner. So now you can see it is a closed loop except on washrooms. I have not selected anything for washrooms. So let us try to finish it. Let us try to see, uh, see in 3D. This is the flow we have created actually. And you can create a lot of flows you, uh, you want. So just select the flow. Go to edit time here you can see um, so let us not disturb the existing one let us create a duplicate one so i say flow underscore node underscore interior okay so structure edit here above the core bond is just as same as uh, designing wall structure so I am inserting another one. I will name it as finish one. I select the material by category. It is a bit slow. So here a window is opened. Let us now create a new, new material. I want to give tiles inside my flat. So this is the default new material. Let us now rename it as interior floor. Interior floor tiles. So let us check the appearance now. Here color is there. Below that you can see image. Beside that you can see a drop down. Here you can see all of this. So tiles are also there. Just select that. A new window will be opened. Here this is the tile preview. Here tile count 4 per row. Uh, for example, before that you have to see uh, the scale. Sample size is 304.8 mm. That is nothing but 1 feet. So I will change it as 2 feet. And this is also 2 feet. And now you can see tile count. So for every tile you are having 4 sub tiles. No, I don't want that. Let us select only one tile per count. One. So one one. You get tile appearance, you can see. So as uh, the color existing one is uh, it is up, uh, appearing like an ash. I will change the color. So I'm selecting this. Okay. So this is the color you will see. Color variance. Drought appearance. You can select this also. Drought this line. This line. The drought between tiles. You can select the color also. So I'm changing the color. And the gap with 
width also you can decrease or reduce so I am putting it as 0 0.35 here also 0 0.35 thickness as 20 mm so structure you whether ch you change it or not it both of you so I will select now concrete is the concrete flowing select concrete yes okay and thickness also you can change it otherwise just move on Click on somewhere, click on G, the tiles here. That is how you can create tiles. If you want the lines to appear clearly, then you can give the grout, uh, grout thickness. So go to structure, edit. This is tiles. Go to appearance again. This. change it you can darken it and you can increase the gap gap thickness so 0 0.5 or 0 0.6 done okay so this you can see so inside the floor is created now let us create so if you fill one, let us navigate to and again architecture, floor, floor architecture, pick wall again, this, 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 and this, trim again, I want this and this, so select the lines you want, the boundaries you want and here, mm, one more line I have shape loop is created before finishing that okay we, let us finish that and you can edit type now duplicate it wash room tiles okay now I'll edit it insert another layer so that is done let us make it up material this is not structure this is finished one again material by category I will change another material and I will name it as washroom tiles. Appearance. So image you can see again drop down. I will create tiles again. A new will be opened. So tile count I am giving 1 by 1 size you can see below so of the scale sample size is 1 feet by 1 feet that is 304.8 mm by 304.8 mm tile color is already there if you want you can change it so I am giving this brown color this color I will give you right done ok so here you have to give the thickness so 20 mm I am giving Let us go to 3D view again. You can see the washroom tiles. And one more, I will tell you how to create checker flooring uh, like what we see daily uh, in our parking lots. Let us also create that. So before that, uh, go to architecture tab, create flow, flow architecture. So flow generic 300 mm by default is there. I will create a rectangle which is actually boundary of my home so I create like this right this is flooring and I don't want this flooring inside the wall so I select again pick wall I select so whatever you create so whatever you uh, 
but that outer boundary outer pink line if you uh, draw uh, if you draw anything inside that that will be a loop that will be a void that will be a void so let us finish it so this is where you have created the form now let us go to edit types again create a duplicate uh, here parking can press it underscore tiles okay go to structure edit go to boundary insert a layer material I select I create a new material again so generally parking tiles will be checker flooring right so checker uh, otherwise I create parking tiles parking tiles go to appearance now here again, uh, image drop down. You can see check it. A new window will be open now. Here, this is the checker. So, you know, you can see the scale. One feet by one feet is there. I change it to two feet by two feet. Two feet. And even that is an mm, you can give the dimensions here. Two feet. Two feet by two feet. So, I have given that. Uh, you can change the color color one it is actually black I will now change it as brown so that is uh, that is of our wish okay. second one I will give keep green color we need to give 20 okay. okay so structure you can give whatever the material you want let us go to 3d this is the checker flow you have created right for any doubts you can comment or you can try many a uh, lot more patterns over there in structure edit so edit type uh, Select the flow, go to edit type, edit in parking tiles. Oh, you can try any type of uh, pattern you want. In appearance, you can see image over here. So, checker I have selected, so you can see gradient, marble, noise. So, all you can try. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.